Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. You love magic, I love magic. Let's do another magic review. Let's check out the latest and the greatest. That's what I do. That's what I do. Uh, got another one from Kyle Purnell. You know me, love the guy. Love Kyle Purnell. Uh, been reviewing uh, a lot of his products. And met him, met him at Magi Fest. He and I had a, had a convo. We had a heart to heart, because we're like this. We're like this. This is me, I'm over here. Today we're looking at the Hancock effect. What is it? Uh, this is one of Kyle's uh, favorite tricks. It's a trick that you can do with a borrowed $1 US American bill and uh, a Sharpie marker. That's all you need is a Sharpie marker. And you know what? I was, I was looking at the trick and I was thinking about, okay, how I was gonna describe it to you. And I thought, this is, I don't know, this is something more that you need to see and not just hear. I mean, I could describe it to you like I've done in the past, but you know, I thought, wouldn't you rather just see it? Wouldn't you rather just see the trick? And so, for a magic orthodoxy first, that's right, you are here for a magic orthodoxy first. For the first time ever, a performance. A magic performance. Not by me, not by me, not by me. Uh, this is gonna be so much more masterful in Kyle's hands. So I'm gonna turn this over to Kyle uh, and let Kyle perform this for you right now. So uh, my assistant off screen, uh, Miss Tiny Hands, could you come over here? And uh, I do need a dollar, thank you very much. And I wanna be very clear about where this trick starts and when it ends. In fact, if you come very close, it's actually right about here and there. This is called the end. That's the end of the trick. Now, I know you don't have the context to know why it's significant, but I promise you, once you get to the end, it's stunning. Stunning ending. You're going to love it. But it does beg the question, if this is the end, uh, where's the beginning? And I'm going to assume it's probably about here. It does depend from time to time, dollar to dollar, trick to trick, pen to teller, you know. But I'm going to assume for us it's probably about right here. Now, what this means is that all good tricks do have to have a beginning and an end. If you think about it, if a magic trick didn't have a beginning, well, then the end really wouldn't make much sense. If a magic trick didn't have an end, that's what we call a long-ass magic trick. And I wouldn't want to subject you to that. Basically what I'm saying is we got to start somewhere, and I was thinking if it's all the same to you, we could start at the beginning. I've heard it's a very good place to start. And Nanny told me that once. Basically, uh, Miss Tiny Hands, if you could, could you come in here maybe with slightly larger hands? <laughs> and <laughs> come in, and I need you to take this guy for me, please. And uh, can you just jot your initials right underneath the arrow for me, please? Look at you, that's gorgeous. Oh, good. So you signed at the beginning. Well, technically, it's the end of the beginning. But it's not to be confused with the beginning of the end, which isn't even a thing. <laughs> that's called the middle. Basically, what I'm saying is we can't end until we end uh, with the end uh, of the end, which I told you about at the beginning. Basically, what I'm saying is if you want to see something crazy weird, don't take your eyes off of your initials at the beginning. Two. This is for you. Perfect. Now, if you were uh, here, Miss Cameraman, I would have you hold on to this since you're not. I'm going to hold on to it myself. And I want you, uh, on the count of three, to throw it back on. But not yet. We didn't get to the end. Oh, we're good. Okay, go ahead. Uh, one, two, three. Toss it back on. Whew. Oh, I felt it. It's true. I did. And if we actually did get to the end. I actually told you from the beginning, when we get to an end, it's going to be an ending that you're never going to forget for the rest of your life. Because friends, from beginning to end, Miss Tiny Hands initials, and this is a little gift from you to you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kyle Purnell. I'm so glad that he was able to do that. I reached out to him and said, hey, I think you should just film this. <laughs> film this for them and let them see it because it's amazing. Uh, you are going to get that trick. All right, you're gonna get that trick and you're gonna get a bonus trick. So for $15 at penguinmagic.com, you're gonna learn the Hancock effect and you're gonna learn Incredibill, which is his pen through bill. So you're gonna learn two tricks, two tricks for 15 bucks. 
Let's talk all about it. All right, so the first question is, is it what I thought? It is uh, a borrowed bill and a pen, so I, I knew that much, right? I knew, it was a, I knew it was a magic download, so there couldn't be anything else added. I figured it had something to do with maybe, I don't know, origami, right? Some sort of origami thing. Um, but he fooled me, he fooled me, he did, he fooled me. Even though you might think you kind of understand how it's done, uh, his handling was way different. We started going down a path that I didn't think we were going down. So uh, he definitely fooled me. Is it well made? It doesn't use anything else but a borrowed $1 US American bill and the Sharpie marker you have on your person. Of course, you could always just use your own bill, but so much more effective when you use somebody else's. What's the overall quality and production value of the video? You get a 40 minute video. Are you, are you hearing me? $15 for a 40 minute video. And you're getting two tricks on top of that. Filmed in the P3 studio. You know P3 makes great videos. Uh, you get an intro, he'll give you the studio performance, and then he's gonna walk you through the trick. And because Kyle is left-handed, like me, that's what makes us both uh, brothers in magic. Uh, he gives you both handlings for left-handed and right-handed. Covers the fold first, which I recommend you do along with him. And you know, I started to watch him just do the fold and I was like, let me bust out a dollar and do this with him. Uh, that's what I recommend. Then he goes back and walks you through where all the marks on the bill go. And he's gonna finish with the cleanup. At, and that all takes you to about 20 minutes. So 20 minutes in and you're gold, okay? Then Kyle's gonna do a, a full second walkthrough and he's gonna talk about uh, all the ins and outs. And then uh, he's gonna go into his gimmick-free, impromptu, pencil-through bill effect, Incredible. So like I said, you get two tricks for $15. There's even an included PDF so that international performers can perform the Hancock effect with a blank piece of paper. He's gonna give you a PDF so you could print out a piece of paper that has the markings on it already. So then there's no bleed through. So even if you're, maybe you're the kind of person that's like, I don't wanna, I don't wanna write on a dollar bill. I, I don't wanna make the federal government upset. I feel you, I feel you, I know who you are. <laughs> you can do this with just a piece of uh, white paper, okay? Or, or colored paper, just you wanna know, make photocopies of this on colored paper, you could do it. And Kyle's put all the markings in place where they should go. So it's ready to go, okay? So that's, that's, that's incredible as well. Pocket space, literally nothing, right? Literally nothing. If you have a Sharpie marker and you borrow a USA $1 bill, you're good. And you leave them with a souvenir. So I say, is it inspectable? Of course, because you're gonna leave them with the bill and they get to keep it. And they're not gonna find any weird folds and they're not gonna find any weird tears, okay? There's no tears in this bill. They're gonna get a souvenir and they can examine it to their heart's content. How are the angles on this? It all happens in a very tight space. Okay, um, if you've ever done the $1 to uh, like $100 bill, like the David Copperfield did, or the mismade bill effect, if you've done mismade bill, you're kind of already in the wheelhouse of like um, angles, okay? And how you use your hands for cover. So you're already in there. And, and uh, you know, I would just say practice is the same. You know, practice and skill level, and whether it's difficult or not, I'd say it's very similar to the mismade bill effect. Very, very famil familiar with, if you're very familiar with like bill changes where you change one bill into another, you're not doing that. You're not doing that. But if you are, you understand some of the folding aspects and the cover aspects that could be involved with this. Set up and reset. What am I going to say? What am I, what am I going to say? It's none, right? None. If it's a borrowed bill, you could even borrow the Sharpie if you wanted to, right? You can do this anytime. And same, same with the, with the pencil penetration. With the pencil through bill, same, same, right? Same, it's same. No prep, no setup, no reset, done. Positives, man, you should have, there was a ton of positives, right? First of all, 40 minutes for $15. Two tricks for $15. All borrowed items for $15. Kyle Purnell for $15. That's a cheap Kyle Purnell. That's a Kyle Purnell. I'd pay for. Negatives, what are the negatives? Uh, you don't own it. That's the negative, you don't own it. That's the only negative I could find. All right, that's the end of my video and I wanna thank Kyle Purnell for shooting that segment for me. That was awesome, he's a nice guy. Uh, do me a favor, 
be, you be, you be, you be nice. Hit like, hit subscribe, hit follow, push all the click clack buttons because that really, uh, that that's really awesome. I guess that's the, yeah, that's really awesome. Uh, and that's that's everything I wanted to say about the Hancock effect. You can find it at PenguinMagic.com. PenguinMagic.com. That is where you want to go. Thanks to Kyle Purnell once again, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.